beginning, it was a bit of a surprise. Um, I just found out recently. Uh, but uh, I know she's doing it for me, and they look good. Yes, yes, yes. For the first shooting, I walked out of the dressing room, and I had butterflies in Never take off your They look like they're shooting a centerfold, but you won't find any of these fleshy fashion pinups in any magazine. These women are out to expose their photos to only one man. They'll do it for their husbands, boyfriends, for surprises, birthday presents, Christmas, Valentine's Day. For $99, boudoir photographer Mario Ventacinque takes any woman, any age, any profession, and gives her a vision of romance. I would assume it would be something like a Valentine's card or something, and that's no. Both feet up on it. My boyfriend decided once he saw the pictures and realized how classy the photographs were, then I think he had more anticipation for it. <laughs> When you're talking about lingerie, you start worrying, is it going to be a little bit too, excuse the word, sleazy? But I've seen the pictures now, so I feel a little bit better. Well, I said you was high class. Well, that was just a lie. They get the wrong idea. They think it's pornographic. They think we're doing something that uh, uh, is not acceptable. Believe it or not, Lori was a bit camera shy before she posed her intimate charms in front of Mario. Wearing lingerie in front of someone other than my husband is definitely weird. Um, you kind of feel like a movie star, but then you're not sure. Where you from? You sex a thing, sex a thing, you. I'd say 99% of the time when they give the gift to their husband, the husband's really appreciate it. I'm taking pictures of her in, in her sexy lingerie. I was talking if I'd pay someone else to do it. We've heard that, you know, some husbands uh, weren't as as open to the ideas as the, the woman thought they'd be. But with all the scanty wear seen in nightclubs, videos, and in magazines, does boudoir fashion seem too commonplace? I think it's an art. But they get the pictures too fuzzy. They keep putting the Vaseline on the lens to make it a fuzzy, focused picture, you know? You can't see enough details. I like to look at lace. So whether boudoir fashion is tasteful or obscene, the real dilemma is where to hang the portrait. Most likely in the bedroom. It could be hung in the living room. I don't know yet if it's going to be life-size or <laughs> wallet. You can leave your head on. Now, before you decide you don't measure up, you should remember that professional...